Welcome to Sister's Kitchen Counter. Today I want to share with you a dish that I like to make for my daughter Emma. Uh, it's called ebichiri in Japanese, which is a shrimp stir fry. Emma is a three-year-old that likes anything shrimp. Uh, let's first talk about the ingredients. I have here 30 shrimp that's been washed and deveined. Into this bowl, I just added a tablespoon of sake and two teaspoons of grated ginger. Uh, I have here a pan with three tablespoons of canola oil, uh, two tablespoons of potato starch, uh, two teaspoons of chili paste. This is an Asian chili paste, uh, which, I purchased, which I purchased at Whole Foods. And then we have uh, two teaspoons each of minced garlic, a minced ginger, and two stalks of uh, finely sliced scallions. Great. Uh, next, let's talk about uh, the sauce. Uh, we, I have here eight tablespoons of water, six tablespoons of ketchup, two tablespoons of sake, this is Japanese rice wine, uh, one tablespoon of sesame oil, four teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of soy sauce, and one teaspoon of Chinese chicken stock. A Chinese chicken stock is different from uh, what we know as chicken broth or chicken stock here in that uh, it uses the whole chicken uh, to cook it to make the stock. So we definitely recommend you using Asian chicken stock for this or Chinese chicken stock. Uh, I'm going to incorporate all of this into one bowl and give it a few good stirs. So let's do uh, the sake, we're going to do the sesame oil, let's add the sugar, the soy sauce, and then last but not least the Chinese chicken stock. And we're just going to give this a few good stirs and set this aside for later use. I've already added three tablespoons of canola oil into this pan and this is going on medium high heat right now. Uh, so into the shrimp mixture where I uh, added the sake and grated ginger earlier, I'm going to add two tablespoons of the potato starch. And this potato starch is just going to uh, uh, help thicken the whole dish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss it around so that it's evenly coated. Next, uh, let's add this into the pan. This whole, all the shrimp will go in here. I'm just gonna wait until this is turns a slight pinkish in color. It's just gonna take probably a minute, uh, maybe just less, uh, but let's wait until it turns a little pink. So this shrimp is cooking nicely. We're gonna be adding uh, the minced garlic, ginger, uh, and scallion into this. And at the same time, we're gonna be adding the chili paste. I'm gonna give this a few good stirs. And this already smells delicious as is. Anything that smells like garlic to me is already has on me. But what we're gonna do next is um, we're gonna be adding this sauce that we made earlier into this pan. And this is gonna cook until this whole sauce begins to thicken. It's gonna take about a minute or two, and I'm leaving this on medium high heat. And this is going to simmer in here until the shrimp is fully cooked. So this is one of those dishes that goes great with beer. The shrimp is uh, perfectly cooked and it's the right thickness for me. Uh, you have the sweetness from the ketchup and the wonderful aroma from the ginger and garlic. This looks delicious. The sauce mm -hmm. is just really nice and thick. For me, when I make this at home, obviously my daughter, Emma, who's three, doesn't like anything spicy, so I actually don't use the chili paste, but if you like hot and spicy things, this is the way the dish is served in Japan, and it's a really great, easy weeknight meal for anyone who loves shrimp and hot and spicy things. Got it? Yes. That looks delicious. Oh, that's delicious. Thanks for watching. Uh, please visit our website at sisterskitchencounter.com and subscribe to us on YouTube. Bye-bye!